the, the paper dealt with one of our, our leading gene therapy program, which is in a disease called AADC deficiency. AADC deficiency results in results from a defect in a gene that's responsible for helping make the chemical dopamine. Dopamine is a really important chemical to the brain. And in children with AADC deficiency, they have an inability to make dopamine. And the result of that is limitations in, in movement or what we call motor function. In the most severe cases, a child is born with this disease and never achieves the ability to raise his or her head, crawl, roll over, walk. Uh, and so obviously you can imagine that child moves very little uh, is, is, is a very severe disease. And, and these children often have other problems like seizures. They get a lot of infections because they're really not able to swallow and take good nutrition. And again, in the most severest forms, these children usually die in early childhood. This is a case where the disease is caused by the defect in a single gene, and that's the AADC gene. And so obviously the idea in our gene therapy program is if we gave these kids a working copy of that gene, could we have dopamine and treat this disease? And the short answer is yes. And our AADC gene therapy program is very innovative because what we're doing is we're actually not only providing a working copy of the gene that's not functioning, but we're delivering that, those working copies of the gene to the specific location where they matter most, which is a part of the brain known as the pertainment. And so the idea is we're not only treating the disease at its root cause, but we're also give, delivering the treatment to exactly where it needs to go, the sort of ground zero for the disease. And the way we're doing that is through a neurosurgical procedure that's called stereotactic surgery. And what stereotactic surgery is, is when a surgeon will use sort of a, a Google map that provides them a route on how to get from outside of the child's head directly to the place in the brain where the gene therapy needs to go. And that map allows that gene therapy to get there directly and safely. And so this paper really explains how we selected that area of the brain entertainment. And it's the simple reason that that is the location where the dopamine is really needed for the brain function and motor function to be restored. And what, what's the experience been in the children who have been treated thus far? And the experience has been that we are able to demonstrate that when we give this working copy of the gene, we can show on very special x-rays of the brain that dopamine is being made. And we also see that the children then start regaining motor function. We see that children who previously weren't able to lift their head start to be able to lift their head and eventually they're able to crawl and then sit up and then stand. And we even have children who are now walking. Uh, we've also found that this treatment lasts. So while it's given once, as most gene therapies are, we find that it's actually lasting five, six, seven, eight years, even longer after administration. And so what we've been able to do is provide a working copy of the gene and provide a durable, effective uh, treatment for the disorder.